Welcome to Vistage Repair Shop. Let's talk about all our 70s. It's a beautiful day out. We'll, uh, I guess I'm not going to So, we're going to talk about the 70 that's right there. I got the camera inside because you can see it's raining outside. I was hoping to... We had a couple other ideas for videos today, and then I thought, you know what? Let's start this series. So, what we're going to do is first... The Oliver 70 actually came out as the Hart Park 70 in 1935. And it was produced until 1948 because that's when they changed it. That's when they went to would have been replaced with the 77. It was about 30 horsepower tractor powered by a six cylinder that we're going to get into. It was an Oliver uh, design built by Waukesha. Yada, yada, yada. You know that. Anyway, when they first came out, they were called the Hart Power because at that point they were still called Hart Power. Make sure. As you now know, I'm official. Um, and they were built as from 35 till 37 under that name. And then at 38, they got redesigned to look like this. I'll show you a picture here for what they used to look like. They were had headlights in the front instead of headlights on fenders that mine are non-existent. Um, and they built approximately 63-ish thousand units during that 38 or 35 to 48 time period. Um, there were some changes that happened during that. In the early units, again, they had the different headlights. They would say Hart Power on the front because at that point it would say Oliver and then it would say Hart Power and then they eventually got to where it just said Oliver on the front. Those engines had a five gear timing chain or timing system on it, which are now really hard to find parts for. These, the later units, the early 38s and then everything else, or early 38s. So there was this style that would have the five gear and we'll talk about how to tell what that is once we get closer to the tractor. I'm standing in the rain, this is perfect. Um, and the early units had a five gear and then they went to a three gear in the later units. This is a 48. So a 48 is going to be different than your other models because it actually has aluminum tin work. Now this one does not, it has aluminum hood in this area, but it does not have aluminum here in this area because that's, uh, I had to get that somewhere else. So they made that because in 48, they were still on steel shortages from the war. The, the, the war used so much, um, steel but they were still short on using and we were at that point we were building up our navy so that way if we had to go to war against the commies we could have a bunch of battleships and other ships so we were still on gun ho let's make this military huge so because of that steel was short so they used aluminum for that year so that's why you'll see when we get close to this i'll show you pictures or i'll show you where you can actually see it's still an aluminum hood but the sides are regular tin those are probably very hard to find i would assume because there was only one year and most of the sheet metal, this was pulled off. So let's talk about the engine. Let's, uh, oh, whatever, it's raining, we're gonna bring you out here. Luckily, I have the sheet metal off this side because I had to do some work on it to get to stay outside, which by work on it means it was out of gas. So, six cylinder engine. Now this has an alternator where there would have been a generator. How you can tell if you have a three gear um, or three or five gear, if you have a 38, is the distributor will be on the opposite side. So if it's on the other side, I think that's how it is, um, that's how you know you have a five gear versus having a three gear. Um, you could have a magneto or distributor on the three gears. On the five gear, it's always gonna be a mag. Don't quote me 100% on that. You guys know, I'm an idiot. I'm standing out here in the rain to do a video. We're at the end of it, I'm gonna drive. So, six cylinder engine. 1.1 liter, so math, math, math. Um, it's about 200 cubic inch engine, making it about 30 horsepower. Um, it is an overhead valve, not a flathead at this point. There's still a lot of flatheads out there. I mean, they're making flathead for a lot longer, but they were already, Oliver was already running. This is the more modern design, we'll call it. Um, full pressurized oil system, not like a slander. You had the oil engine on the top. This is right when that sauce, well, that, right when all that stuff was ending, where you had to, you know, have oil drippers on the top. This is perfect weather. Um, now, normally, it would have had, um, it would have also been six volt system to start. This has been converted with this over to 12, but pretend that's, if it was all six volt. Let's, uh, let's take you, talk about something else that was cool in the 70s. Tires, the tires were neat on them. This one, again, not factory. Those are 15, 538s, way too big a tire. But they would have actually had a 40 inch rim on a lot of them, which are very, very hard to come up with now. Tires, they already get rubber for, so most have been changed out to some kind of a 38, but they would have actually had a 40 inch, 1140, 11 inch wide, 40 inches tall, or 40 inch rim tire 
that would have been kind of cool. Let's, uh, let's check out the other side. Ba, 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 ba. We actually have a polling meeting tonight that I'm going to try and film this in and then head up there. All right. So as you can see, on this particular unit, you can't see because I'm we'll bringing you closer here. This has the distributor. So that's, I mean, it's a Vienna 48. It would have had everything that these would have come with. All the new modern stuff. Distributor, cars all on this side. Um, normally, it would have been, you have your exhaust manifold here. There's actually a muffler that was built in. Would have been in this region right here. Would have been the muffler and then the pipe would have gone up with that, which this doesn't have any of that. It's loud and obnoxious. Great. Great. Um, what a lot of farmers did was, it was an option, was they would actually put dual exhaust on these. So they'd cut another hole here and they'd run, there was, you'd run a pipe that would come up here. And so they sound really cool when they're on dual exhaust. At some point I want to get a dual exhaust system, but our dual exhaust manifold, because this manifold on this particular tractor is garbage, but that time hasn't come yet. Let's check out the operator station. All right, we come inside for a second. Oh, why am I filming during rain? Terrible. I'm gonna bring you back. I'll bring All you right. back. You can see it's still raining. Normally there would have been fenders here. These fenders were garbage, so I ripped those off. Would have also at this point, when the older 70s had the headlights up front, this were the headlights on the fenders in the rear, just like actually just like that. So imagine this setup on this particular tractor. Had a PTO and a traditional Oliver style hitch, or this is what they were going to. Again, before the days of the there being a mandate where the PTO had to be, so that's why it's way high on this particular tractor. The PTO was run off of, I believe, whoop, um, this switch right here. And it would also run the belt drive, which would have come out if the tractor would have been installed with it, would have come off that thing right there. So there is how the PTO would have run. Those would have run together. They would have had to been you had to put the clutch in to shift that obviously wasn't quite that fancy yet had a lift all so before the days of hydraulics the lift all was run off of this switch right here and you pull that back and it would rotate those so they could pick up a cultivator or any kind of mounted equipment you had up there could pick that up out of the ground and lift all um again that was a system they would run before hydraulics it was all mechanical it was all gear driven um and then they used had a five with the rubber tires. These had a five speed transmission in them. So you had our six speed transmission with only one reverse. The older, the newer Olivers would have the twin H pattern with double reverse. These only had the one reverse. So you had your um, lower register down here and then you would punch up and then have your higher register up here. The only thing is you only had reverse in the one. So that made it fun. And first gear was on the high register, reverse on the low register. So great, great, great. Great. Um, to start it and uh, gauge wise, this doesn't have all the normal gauges, but you would have had, ugh, normally would have been a battery gauge where this is supposed to be amp, heat. Is that an extra one for some reason? I'm not sure. And they would normally not have had a key, it would have been a, a switch, like an on off, kind of like what's on that one farm wall. And then with a the push button, then the choke is there. So let's. Uh, Let's fire this thing up. Move gauge there. I don't know why I'm gonna take you guys for a drive. This seems like just a very bad idea. We'll go on a quick drive with it. We're supposed to drive all these tractors when we do the reviews. Uh, this being the first one, it's a little rough. Oh, we also didn't talk about, I'm gonna go inside for a second. All right. Look at the tractor. So also on the 70s, the why they were called the 70 was. Wait a second. They actually called these. Oh man, that's terrible. They called them the 70 because it was supposed to reside to be the first tractor to run on 70 octane. You think now, you know, you're we run 87, 93 race fuel was way up there in octane. That time there was really still really low grade fuel. So a lot of a lot of tractors were running on what they called the tractor fuel or kerosene stuff like that. Well, these, they designed to run, they were higher compression, made more power. So that was why they called them a 70. And Oliver, this was the first tractor that they went away from their horsepower in the name. Oh, before then, there'd be like a 2844, an 1830, you know, all that. That's how they would say they would be drawbar horsepower, belt horsepower. Belt horsepower is going to be higher because there's less mechanical loss when you have to drive it. You're not worrying about the traction you can get. Um, so... On this particular tractor, 
they went to calling it by the 70 octane number. Then Oliver implemented that. Obviously, the 60 doesn't mean it ran on 60 octane. It was just the baby brother of the 70, which the 60 shared more in common with the next series of tractors than it necessarily did with the early 70s because it was more of a, a jump to get to what would have been the 77, the, what they call the Fleet Line series. So that's why it was called the 70. Let's, uh, let's get you set up. Let's go on a really, really, really fast drive because, again, it's raining out there folks um if you have not subscribe like because please this is fun and uh, we're gonna do more of this and i'll pick the i'll pick more of the perfect days to do this kind of stupid stuff so give me a second we'll get on the tractor actually we'll we'll get on the tractor here. okay so i already got the fuel on key goes on hit the little choke i have a currently have a can in there Choke, maybe. There we go. projects because I well update radiator still not done in the super that'll be hopefully done in a couple weeks guy my uh, guy's sick so don't blame him there hope he gets healthy but uh puts a little bit of a dampener on that process and um I don't still I forgot to order the right oil filter for the farm all so project Otis so that'll be fun we'll uh we're gonna shut this thing down we'll uh, like and subscribe you guys know what to do uh if you want to see, got some other tractor ideas. We're going to try and do, I got some buddies that have tractors that are going to let me borrow them basically and do more stuff like this. So there's definitely going to be a lot more content like this stuff. Um, but hopefully I'll, uh, 
we'll see how this one goes. Like I said, this is kind of a quick one. I want to test the water, see how it went. Let me know what you like. Don't forget, link in the description for um, stickers. I order, actually ordered even more. So if you want a sticker, um, email me. I'll put the email link down there. I'll also put my PayPal link if you want to PayPal me for them. Don't, you do not have to. Um, send me, um, but it'd be awesome if you did to kind of help cover all that stuff. We're going to uh, shut this down. Get out of here. I actually got a truck to pull me and I got to get you. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Like and subscribe. You guys know what to do. Bye. Oh, crap. I gotta, oh, man. I got to turn the fuel off. Ugh. I should probably leave this in and see if anyone sees it. Ooh, got a good I'm gonna slide down this. This will burn. Ah! Crap. Now I'm stuck over here. You are. Go that. Like that. Oh no. Still here. Like and subscribe, you guys know what to do.